Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda. I'm Mike A10, and I have my microphone working a little better so you can hear me. This is great. So, last time we got ourselves to level 2 here, so we're going to enter. So, you'll notice, uh, you know, the color scheme's a little different here. You'll have different color schemes throughout different levels. And we have new enemies. These uh, snake guys will charge at you when they're on the same line as you. By line, I mean horizontal or vertical. Each uh, level kind of introduces a new main enemy. So you'll see a lot of these guys throughout level 2 here. They're like the new enemy that is kind of very common in this in this labyrinth. So you'll notice that each new labyrinth kind of has like an enemy that appears in more rooms than others. Which you can see has three rooms in a row for these guys. We got a clock. You guys must stop. Stop in the name of me. Sorry for the singing, it kind of happens sometimes. Alright, more of these guys. I uh, like one. I'm gonna kill you eh, before you even get a chance to charge at me. Alright, so the map is filling up. Let's open this locked door. We wanted to go in a general northern direction. Oh, let me uh, let me switch back to my boomerang and demonstrate how you can kill a weak enemy with it. Just like that. Let's get our compass. Let's see the Triforce is to the north, so we need to go up. And to paralyze... Oh, you guys. You paralyze them just like that. They don't move for a few seconds. They start going again. Oh. There's two guys on top of each other right there. Cool. Alright. Oh, let's go grab this uh, wonderful map. And now we have a map to the level. And if you guys look up at the map there and you see a crescent moon, then points for you, because that's what it's supposed to be. Level 2 is the Crescent Moon. Be nice to have my life back up. Okay. I'm going to get a little strategic here against these guys, because these guys take a bunch of hits to kill. These are the blue garais. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bomb them. And that is the blue boomerang. The fairy came just at the right time. So, what's special about the blue boomerang? Let's take a look. It replaces the other boomerang, so you obviously don't keep that other boomerang for very long. Um, if you notice, I didn't really point this out, but the other boomerang didn't go very far. Kind of went maybe, if you were lucky, across half the screen and came back to you. The blue boomerang goes all the way across and back. More distance covered. Good stuff. Okay. These guys, you know, these guys... That noise that you hear in the background, not the same exact noise that we heard from the boss in level 1. Just means kind of like a mini boss that you're in the same room as, so to speak. Which is what that was, so I killed him. And I got a key. 
the blue boomerang, by the way, was the special item of this level. And we got some bombs there, I think. I might be mistaken. Yep, I was right. You can technically bomb through that wall, but we've already been to that room, so... But there's a demonstration of how you can bomb a wall. Later on, in later levels, you will need to bomb walls to get to certain areas and even into the to the end of some of the levels. It will become a necessary thing. And you're dead. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting close. Um, conserve your bombs in this level. Don't use them all before the end. Otherwise, you'll have a bit of a hard time. You'll see what I mean soon enough. And this guy wants to tell us something. The Dongo dislikes smoke. Hmm. Who is the Dongo? And how can we produce smoke? The answer to these questions and more in the next room after this. Haha, <laughs> you guys thought I was going to say in the next video, but no, we still got time. You can actually hear that the boss is in the next room. Now, we can only max out at 8 bombs, as you can see at the top, so getting this is not going to do anything, but... I'll grab it anyway, because it was offered to us. So, I'm going to do this, and you should too, if you're playing along. So let's enter the final room where the boss is. This is Dodongo. Yes, he looks like a Triceratops, and as we learned, Dodongo dislikes smoke. What creates smoke? Well, bombs do. Let's just put it right in his mouth. I think he's gonna need another one. Bam! And he's dead just like that. Get the heart into the next room. Get the Triforce. And boom! Do 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 do. And we even have a key left over. Alright. Good stuff. Doing good, doing good. So we got two Triforce now. You see we have a second Triforce piece filled in there. Only six more to go. Kill these guys, get the bombs back. Let's uh let's have some fun with some of these guys now, shall we? Bam! It's a little, a little handy work with that boomerang right there. Let's uh let's explore a little bit. Huh, that's nice. Oh no, they it's a trap, they're coming in after me, oh my god. So, you have a shield that you start off the game with. It's a small shield, but uh, it'll do the trick for some weapons such as spears and arrows, but spears and arrows are pretty much the same in this game. The only difference is you get arrows, you don't get spears. Um, if you touch these statue guys, they'll come alive. Um, well, okay. That's a little bit of a glitch, because he's not moving. He's supposed to move and attack me. Oh, you know, it's because <laughs> I got the clock beforehand. Uh, very good, my K-10, very good. Alright, this guy has a secret. Uh, he looks like an enemy, but he's not. 